a couple of questions that I've seen come through recently um, are uh, the data feeds. And so a couple of people have emailed about, you know, different types of data feeds. If you ever have issues with data, what I'd like to do is uh, right click on the chart and reload historical data. So if you if you think that you have a large tick or a large candle and it's not normal to see that, sometimes you have bad data that comes in. So click here, right click on the chart if you're using Ninja Trader that is reload all historical data. And what it does is you see it reloads uh, the data and makes sure and fixes really it fixes everything from it comes from the server from the CME from the exchanges and it updates and corrects any missing data and that really happens when you see possibly um, you know uh, a, a large candle or a bad uh, tick as they call it ne next thing is going over uh, the sonic system I have here two tabs and you can have as many as you want. I have multiple monitors and it, and it depends on your setup. You can use the tabs here, you can have multiple monitors. So on this tab here, I have the roadmap and the Sonic. On this tab here, I just have the Sonic. And that way, if you're looking at different markets at the same time, let's say that you wanna trade the Dow, the NASDAQ, the um, a currency possibly or oil or something along those lines or whatever markets you're looking at you can you don't have to constantly switch them you can have these tabs down here as well all right and George hello okay and so let's talk a little bit about um, how this works I have the very large text here because somebody emailed us last week I believe that said I'm have a hard time seeing the news indicator so I, you can make the text uh, as large as possible. So you come here and you go to the news indicator and you can see that I have it at 30. The one thing you should have is US news events. That's for me is my preference. I only look at the, the US news events as well, okay? All right, we have a signal here on the, on the Sonic to go long. Good morning, uh, Nina. Um, we have a, a signal here to go long. Usually what I like to do, let me just expand this here, is I like to look first at the risk to reward ratio. So if you see that the the target, I have it at one times the ATR, I believe. Let's take a quick look here. Uh, the Sonic, I have one times the ATR, yeah. So if you see that the target and the stop are really upside down, so if you're entering here and the stop let's say is three and a quarter and the target is two and a half so it's a little bit off if you if that's a concern you can absolutely uh, place the order at a better price so it's not like you have to take every single order because we have so many orders on the Sonic I know a lot of people have here the Sonic um, and maybe from a show of hands here or just quick, uh, quick S maybe, let me know who has the Sonic. But as you know, we have a lot of signals. So I don't want you to take every signal that comes your way. I prefer that you pick and choose the ones that make the most amount of sense. So I'm focused more on the quality that exists. So in this case here, if you're not comfortable with going long and taking this profit because the stop is a little bit larger if that's uncomfortable to you, no problem. Skip the trade or place your limit order a little bit um, lower. So let's say you put your limit order here because the markets don't always just shoot up or shoot down. They gyrate. You know, they go like this and like this and like this, like this. So on the next candle, preferably on the very next candle, so if you see a signal here, and you say to yourself, oh, I'm looking at this and I'm a little concerned uh, that the target is a little bit higher, a little bit more, not by a lot, by a, by, you know, by a lot more, right? In this case, it's not really that much of a difference. Place a limit order a few ticks lower, and that way when you do get filled, the distance now for the target and the stop are more equal or even better. So I always do that. I always look for a better price. I do that with the trade scalper. I do that with the at the open. I do that with the Atlas line. I do that with all the software that we have. I'm always um, 
Okay, William has a Sonic, George a Sonic, okay. So just as a, a rule of thumb, you don't have to take every trade, go for a better price. The only situation where I would say that you would no longer be interested in that is if it has already hit the target. So in this case, let's say that you are waiting for a better price. And let's say even that you had your 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 limit order here at this price, 57 uh, 60 quarter. Let's just say it looks like that. And the market comes down here, two ticks better, but it doesn't fill you or it doesn't fill your limit order or it doesn't reach that better price that you want and then immediately it moves to make a target when that happens you have to cancel uh, cancel the the order we're no longer interested because it has already hit the target so I'm always looking for a better price but if it's in this case since it already hit the target close the position or look for the next trade so I want to make sure everybody understands that everybody's clear on that this idea that get a better price if it makes more sense for the risk to reward ratio if it's a losing trade we're gonna have some losing trades but if it is a losing trade um, the stop is smaller the stop would be from here to here smaller than um, if 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 the ratio was much larger all right let me know if everybody is clear on that if anybody has any questions as well okay I see George typing and Williams good okay all right, sounds good. Now, the other thing is whether or not we have news events. As you know, I always look for that. Here we have on uh, November 5th, tomorrow, very special day. I know a lot of people are anxious. And uh, whatever happens, I want you to know that the market will continue doing what it always does. Okay? So we have the, the elections uh, coming up right around the corner. And um, fear not, everything will be fine. Uh, does the Sonic act like a momentum and needs to be reached to accordingly? Mm. George, I see your question here. I'm not. I'm not really quite sure. But it doesn't use momentum, so that's the first thing. And needs to be reacted to accordingly. So, George, it doesn't use any type of uh, momentum. It's based on patterns and price action. And so we're not using, so here's a, an entry here to go long. And again, I would recommend putting the, the target here. Actually, it's not too bad, right? The, the distance from here is actually smaller than it is or pretty much equal. So just kind of give you an idea here. Let me just try to by limit, see what happens here. Um, maybe like that. So that way, as an example, you can see that I'm trying to get long here. This is the target and uh, this is the stop so the risk to reward ratio is not is great it's not it's not we're not looking to risk more than we are on um, on this trade we adjust the stop we adjust the target it's very simple don't overthink it uh, if you have three four or five trades in a row that are winners or if you're up take a break there's no there's no need to continue to trade and trade and trade so that's my my intention is to take a few trades pause have a coffee cappuccino maybe a biscotti and then come back uh, an hour later and look at more opportunity so um, I don't want to stick here all day long um, so George says here what I mean is you have to use it with it we say within two bars no uh, keep it more simple than that George you don't you don't have to think of um, anything like that along those lines where where you're looking at too many things in relationship to it right the idea is there's an there's a signal it's based off of pattern this is happens to be a pullback pattern right the market pulls back and then continues provides a signal the only thing i would say uh, george and to anybody everybody here who's using the sonic or maybe another system the sooner that we hit the target the better i don't like when i see the market go sideways for an extended amount of time and there's no movement or reaction in my favor so say for example that it's only been a minute or so here but let's say it's been 10 minutes and we're still at break even or we're still at maybe a small loss or small win if that happens let's say that this was 10 minutes later or 15 minutes later close the position right it's the idea is is really not to hold on to these positions especially on a one minute chart i mean we should see something really reactive 
in our favor within five, eight, ten minutes, you know, it should really go you start starting to go in our favor. If it doesn't, if it's kind of like chopping around, it means the market's not ready to move. It's not it doesn't have that push and that power behind the direction. Close the position. Isn't it better to take a a small loss or a break even trade or a small winner than to have a loser? I always think it is. So if you if you're in a trade that's taking too long to do anything, get out. It's always the best the best bet. Now as far as the road map, I'll just leave this you know hanging out here. As far as the road map here, it should be my chart should be very similar to yours. Here, let me so um long it hit the the road map we know uh, the road map is counter trend primarily the rules are very simple on the road map i know everybody in here probably has the road map if it goes through it that means this is over it's not uh stopping the market if it bounces off of it we want to go short so you can see that it bounced off of it and then it starts to go down so the roadmap is actually a great filter to use in conjunction with the roadmap you can see it, it could have saved us on going long a little bit riskier of a trade here to go long uh, so the roadmap is is pretty strong the same thing see once it breaks here the roadmap it continues going the likelihood of it going to the next zone is strong okay so consider if you're using the roadmap with any type of trading that you're doing um, you use that as a good filter, as a filter, and I, I use it as a filter myself. But when it comes to the Sonic, for those of you who just have the Sonic, you're just following the signals as they are. All right. Any questions? Hey Ray, good morning. Uh, Vitaly, I have an issue with the news data. Uh, Vitaly, let me know what the issue is with the news data. If you, if it cleared up, or if you still see it, or um, it should it should have the same information as I have here. Now let's talk a little bit more about uh, the roadmap since you're asking. So what I've noticed over the years is that when you have an instant reaction to the news, I'm sorry, an instant reaction on the roadmap that is, it should be instant. So the longer that this takes to reverse and continue, and it doesn't really go much further, it's kind of like reverse, the move is done, you have to consider that the roadmap did its job and we're not really so much concerned any longer after let's say 20 minutes or 30 minutes we're not really concerned any anymore about the roadmap so i'm going to explain this a, a little bit more to you so think about the roadmap as a place and a price and a time where everything just happens all at once okay so what I like to do is I like to um, think about when you're accumulating a position, and accumulating a position, and accumulating a position. The way that I teach this is that when you when you begin to, and this is for the roadmap specifically, okay. When traders are accumulating a position, whether it be a hundred or five or ten or three. They don't just do three or fives or tens. They they leg in or they begin to um, acquire positions over time. And so let's say that they get in at one and then another one and then another one and then another one. And here is the, the roadmap. Okay. So what happens is once it reaches a certain area, they say, great, I'm in, I've accumulated all these positions, whether it be 10 or five, and now I just want to get out of the market as fast as possible and take my money and run right that's really the idea you uh, you're accumulating a position and then it hits a certain area a certain price and then the manipulation happens and it's get me out as fast as possible and so everybody who's trading ones and twos and threes and then you have 50 and 10 and 100 or whatever the case may be you're just uh, you're just being absorbed and you're taking the opposite side of everybody getting out of a position. So we have to know that the, the, this roadmap, this situation occurs in order to be prepared for it because we don't want to be absorbed by everybody getting out of a position at the same time that we're finally getting in. So, and that's really the purpose behind the roadmap. And I'll give you an example here. This just happened. This 
is a green candle this is another green candle this is another green candle and all of a sudden if if you looked at this just normally you would think that the market would just keep on going higher and continue but something happened something happened that caused everybody to sell and that's the exit strategy of getting out of a small of a of a position of a large position whether it be robots or algorithms or institutional traders or regular people it doesn't matter something happened here that uh, that created this candle and so we're using the roadmap as a filter for that reason so to continue here what i was saying is that once this happens it should be pretty quick right everybody gets out of a position they're done and the move is over so if you're looking at the roadmap usually you see an instant reversal so it gets into the roadmap and then all of a sudden it just goes and reverses and once that happens it's done so that means that after I used to say 20 minutes maybe things are a little bit quicker now maybe 15 minutes if you see a situation like that that means the roadmap did its job it's over there's no reason now to continue um, thinking that the market's gonna go short or in that same direction it did its job everybody's out of a position and now they're moving to look for a new position so I just want to uh, mention that because let's say that you you see this now here the roadmap happened here this is no really it's not really relevant any longer I would definitely have to say that about 15 20 minutes it, the roadmap did its job we're moving on okay it already made the the reversal so let me know if anybody has any questions on that time is really important when it comes to uh, trading the element of time is sometimes no longer thought about when it comes to price action but time is really 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 important okay all right um, let's take a look at the sonic system here okay all right so hit the target did anybody see this trade on your end here with the sonic going long getting in at a better price taking profit and done anybody see this live as it happened on your end okay Rob Rob says yes so I think the trades should be pretty equal if you're off by a tick or two it's because I'm sharing a screen and there may be a little bit of a lag but besides that, we should really be looking at the same chart and the same signals. Trading view also should be very similar. I don't really see it could be that much off unless there's a real data problem. Uh, but everybody should see the same signals unless you're using different time. We started it differently or using a different target. Let's say as an example, the, you, maybe your target is larger or smaller. That does impact the entries because it has to wait until the trade is over before a new trade is created. Uh, but if you're using the defaulted settings here, I'll show you again. Everybody should pretty much have the same exact uh, order. So um, one here is take profit. Uh, five, 65 is the filter. That means that this dashed line here, I have it as a dash, but you can have it as a solid line or histogram. Anything above that, we're only looking for long positions. Okay. Let's take a look here. William, yes. Rob, yes. I think five bars is only five minutes, George. I, it may not be enough time. I think that once you, I think 10 minutes, George has a really good question. Can I, any, everybody see the questions here that you're asking from each other or not? Okay, good. So, uh, George, you're asking if I would get out after five minutes, and I would say no. I think it's a little bit early. Five minutes, as a day trader, it is a long time, but... I would say closer to 10. When you hit like the 10-minute mark, that's really a long time. We're flip-flopping. We haven't done anything. Um, that's when I really start considering where's my exit strategy if I can get at a break-even or a small loss um, at that point. I think five minutes may be a, a, a little bit premature, okay? So let me see here. This was one, two, three, four, five. So five, actually, uh, George, five minutes would be here, right? Correct me if I'm wrong. One, two, three, four, five. So it was really only five minutes anyway, the trade took. But if I needed to give it 10 uh, minutes, I would, right? Am I correct on that, guys? 
right? Uh, this is the signal was was created here. I got in here, right? Waited a little bit to see if I get a better price. And also, th the thing is, you don't have to enter right away with a market order. Um, I'm I don't want to have slippage, right? M market orders will always give you slippage. So there's no reason to see the signal and then a panic. Buy at 57.61. Um, wait, give it a minute. See if you can get him. And if I got in here, this would have been fantastic. And I don't even know what this would be here at two and three quarters of a point. So that's not too bad, right? If you're if you're thinking um, two and three quarters of a point, or if you want to just two and a half, right? It's 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 not bad, right? Right, so um, first part, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, right? Right, so if you got in at the right away, it would have been seven candles. Uh, if you got in, if you waited a minute to see if you got a better price, it only took about five minutes. But 10, I would say 10, George, would be the, the max. Now, this is a great situation. It was a signal. It was successful. I missed it. I didn't want to take it. I want maybe this entry. Right. Let's say that you didn't want to use market orders because I don't like to use market orders on entries. The slippage is unnecessary. Place a limit order here. Here is your stop, and here's your target. It's a more manageable uh, risk to reward ratio. Okay. Correct. Correct. Actually, George, I'm gonna um, just so you guys know what the signal is. If there's any confusion, let me exp let me show it to you. Here, when this candle closes this candle closes which is part of the box the signal is created so the earliest that you can get in would be on the open of the next candle so when this candle closes it's um created the signal is created the earliest you can get in would be this very next candle and i would always say get in at a better price the same thing here it's the closing price of this candle closing price of this candle so the earliest you can get in would be when the next candle opens. Okay, that's just to give you the exact specifics of where and how the signal is generated that's going to close in that candle. Um, okay, let's take a look at the, the roadmap. I'll go to here. All right, so what do you guys think about the roadmap? Not too bad. Hit the roadmap, reversed. It's not perfect. So I like the roadmap. I use it. I use it as a filter. I look for opportunities, especially if you have, let's say, an order for the trade scalper or for the at the open or for the atlas line or whatever that's happening either inside the box or as it reverses off the box. It's fantastic. It's not perfect, but it works for what we use it for, what I use it for, okay? Now, with the roadmap, the more volatile the market, I don't have the ATR here, but let me add the ATR. The more volatile the market, want to learn more? Visit daytradetowin.com and get started with a free member account, which includes access to our trials, including the ABC software. Start learning the right way by using price action and avoid using conventional indicators. We offer unique strategies and proprietary software, including the Sonic system. Join Accelerated Mentorship and get instant access to all our software. Let's get you set up in the next training.